Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today I wanted to show you my fastest retro PC. As you can see on the sticker, this PC has a built-in NVIDIA card, and it has 2GB of RAM with a dual-core processor. And as you can see with my not-so-great cable management, I had a solid-state hard drive. I didn't realize until recently that Windows XP is actually compatible with these hard drives. To be more specific, this is going to have Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005, which I reinstalled. As you can see, much faster than my slowest PC. So when I reinstalled Windows, everything worked great. The only issue I ran into was the sound. For some reason, I couldn't get the sound card to work. As you can see here, when I'm trying to reinstall the software, I'm getting an error message that I have to reinstall the software. So to give you an example, I'm trying to install the actual card driver, and since this is technically not the C drive, Windows installed on what's called the H drive, I'm not sure why that was set up, I'm getting this error message saying I need space. So the good thing is I did find a workaround for the PC and the speakers, I'll come back to that a little bit later. For now what I'll do is I'll show a little bit of some gameplay. So as you can see here, I'm going to be playing Claw. And as you see, the game runs fine, it's just, there's no sound, but again, we'll get to the sound a little bit later on. So I did show Quake 2 before my other PC video for the Windows 98 one, but as you'll see, this game runs perfectly on Windows XP. This game runs flawlessly. And since this time the camera's on a tripod, I can use both my hands to play the game, so I'm doing a lot better than what I did before. So I did find a workaround for the sound drivers. So I can't get sound coming out of the old um, headphone jack that you usually get in the back of old PCs. So just out of curiosity, I actually plugged in the USB headset and lo and behold, it actually worked. So now I have sound, but it's just through headphones. So in the future, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna buy some pretty cheap USB speakers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a couple more games and then we'll try them out to see how they run. And one thing I thought it was kind of funny that as you see on the install screen, they have a picture of an old flip phone. Just kind of shows you how far we've come with technology. And before I play Oblivion, I'm going to upgrade to a bit of a better headset. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. I'm just going to choose a generic character, Just this is just for testing purposes. So the frame rate isn't perfect, but the game still runs. I 
All right, let's play a little bit of Turok. This game will run great. And last but not least, let's start with a fun one. Let's play the first Harry Potter game on PC. All right, it's done installing. I'll register later or register never. <laughs> There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. Alright, we'll skip the rest of that and we'll get right into gameplay. Okay, on a side note, what is going on with Dumbledore's eyes? Is he wearing some kind of special sunglasses? Must be some kind of graphical glitch. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.